Hello and welcome again, it's me Reef, and as you guys can see, I really need to get a haircut. My afro is getting a bit big, but that's always awesome. So, another new vloggy type video from me, and I'm um, actually going to be unboxing some things I got from Take A Lot. Um, some headphones and a tent. But I'm recording this in the because, well, I just had to bed. But uh, because there's a bit more space here than the room, and um, a little bit of lighting as it's fucking dark outside. As you can see in front of me, I have a box, a Victorinox type uh, Swiss Army knife type thing, and some scissors. Already uh, kind of cut open the tape on the box from Take a Lot, so as you guys can see. Um, I think it isn't the best. The box was a bit deformed when I got it, but hopefully the things inside is in good condition. And seeing as I have a in one hand, cutting open would be a bit difficult, especially with my left hand. What do we have? Just some um, packaging and earphones, which seem to have survived quite well. I'll uh, do separate reviews on the headphones as well as the things in due time if you want to. So let me know in the comment section below if that's the kind of thing you want to know. And I'll also um, remove this from the packaging. Actually, let's see how easy that is to with one hand. the ATH ABC 500 Audio Technica headphones, also known as the Sonic Pro closed back ones. I was looking for a closed back pair, um, mostly due to using it while traveling on a mobile phone or stuff like that, as the Pioneer uh, headphones I have are open back, and that means a lot of noise leaks. Side. Looks like there's something holding it in. Good, 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 good. We're getting there. Slowly. So we have it's a full piece of plastic. Um, we have the headphones, which uh, seem quite solid. Uh, over ear type design. Pads are leather red type. Don't know how comfy they are. We'll have to see them. Shown in the review, as well as a nice thick rubber cable. This so this shouldn't um, get tangled so much easier. Anyway, on to the tent. <laughs> as you guys can see, the tent is in a fair bit bigger packaging. It is one of those pop-up tents, um, apparently meant to be very easy. I've only cut open the one side. Um, I'll probably have to open a lot more because it doesn't seem like this is going to be easy to do at all. So um, I'm just going to open it up with the scissors and uh, then uh, continue on. Okay, so I have removed the tent from the uh, packaging. And it's an Afritel easy pop-up tent thing. Let me just see if I can maybe open it up and show you guys the instructions. Get them. Obviously, everything is hard to do with one hand, and I'm not used to these things. So I probably need like a perfect camera. After tent, fold up instructions for easy pitch tent. Obviously, you need fold up instructions because it's pretty easy to open. Got me one of these, um, for especially when I go to, um, camping for friends, and I don't want to take the hassle of taking a huge five man tent with. The other thing is the five man tent we do have is made of rip stop material which is really heavy. This on the other hand is oh, let me just move it over. Here you can see it's easy tent. Easy pitch three tent. It's supposed to look kind of like that so you can see it from the apparently seems to remain so it should be quite spacious. And it's made of plastic material. But this is good, I think this will really work well. It's quite light and I'll still see how easy it is to put back in the bag. Well, I don't need a paint help. 
Good job. I will do a review on the tanks as well as the hip fans later. If you guys are interested in it, let me know in the comment section below and uh, hopefully I'll see you again, guys again next time. Anyway, cheers.